Russia has more than a fifth of the world's forests. These vast forests serve Russia and the rest of the world as a source of timber and play a major role in the preservation of biodiversity and stabilization of the global climate. But for some time, the Russian forestry sector has been in decline. There is a whole set of issues which are faced by the Russian sector. They include, of course, uh, some underfinancing uh, during the previous decades, uh, some deterioration of uh, equipment. Forests cover more than half the country, but Russia's share of the global trade in forest products is less than 4%. Moreover, badly managed logging threatens Russia's role as a mitigator of climate change. But there are signs of growing political will to change. The Russian government has just released a study together with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization on how the sector could look by 2030. Many of Russia's sawmills and wood processing factories were built during the Soviet era. While the government does offer incentives for factories to update their technology, industry representatives say they need greater assistance. В России достаточно целлюлозных предприятий, современных целлюлозно-бумажных предприятий, которые соответствуют средненовому уровню. Но представление сегодняшним современным предприятиям они несколько иные. Современный лесопромышленный комплекс должен быть таким, чтобы завезенная на него древесина была полностью комплексно переработана. Таких предприятий у нас пока нет, и мы хотели бы, чтобы такие предприятия появились. 800 kilometers east of Moscow. The new facility to make particle boards and paper is being built by Turkish investor Kastamonu and will be the biggest of its kind in Russia. We provide ready-to-use land plots with ready-to-use infrastructure, gas, electricity, railway roads, and of course customs and tax incentives. The Russian government also needs to tackle the issue of illegal logging. The scale of illegal logging in Russia is about uh, 20%. Uh, and in compare with official data, uh, this is much bigger because um, uh, our uh, assessment uh, is about uh, 30 uh, million uh, cubic meters. And in accordance with the official data, it's about one or one and a half uh, million cubic meters. Legal logging must also be managed with greater consideration for forest regeneration. The longest forest lease is 49 years, only half the time it takes a tree to reach maturity, which is why there is no stimulus for logging companies to take care to regenerate the forest. If progress can be made in Russia, the potential of the Russian forest sector is huge. Harvesting is falling in Canada and it will continue to fall. Uh, in Scandinavia, Europe will reach the very top of harvesting. So for Russia, there is great potential in actually supporting the industry at this stage, being supporting the reconstruction of, of the industry from uh, old Soviet technologies from the 70s to implementing modern European Scandinavian equipment technologies like is being done now. With Russia's recent accession to the WTO, the country must act urgently if it's to compete in the international marketplace. They also need to stimulate domestic demand for forest products. While the Russian government's primary goal is to improve the economy, if they can increase production in an environmentally sustainable way, it will yield huge benefits for biodiversity and the global climate.